Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2013 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. I'm Andy Aubrey, and my host for this great event is none other than the First Lady of Royal Oak, Miss Jody Ellison. Jody, how are you today? I'm very well, Andy. Thank you. How are you? Doing well. Of course, we're here today to honor uh, veterans, both past, present, uh, troops, and everybody involved in the military who are uh, sacrificing each and every day, and their families. Let's remember them. Absolutely. For uh, their service to this country and allowing us to enjoy the freedoms that we do. So uh, we have Memorial Day here signifying that and uh, should be a great event. How about this weather, huh? Uh, it's gorgeous, thankfully. Yeah, it is. Not it's snowing. A, no, <laughs> not, not yet. But not yet. Hang on. So, uh, but we will get this started here. We're going to start this off with the Royal Oak uh, Police Honor Guard. So stay tuned. We'll bring you all the action coming up next. I didn't tell anyone, but I was concerned. I could tell. When he got his new orders and we were going to have to move, we all wondered what it would do to his treatment. It took real strength to seek mental health treatment in the first place. And there I was, having to start with a new provider. And then my doctor referred me to the In Transition program. My In Transition coach helped me identify resources I needed in our new location. And made sure that he started and stayed on track with his new provider. With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. How about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon. Robot enemies explode and limbs fly off. Maybe that other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Welcome back to the 2013 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. And we mentioned it in the opening, Jody, but how about this weather? Oh, it's just beautiful. Sun is out, light breeze, perfect conditions. Yes, no snow in the forecast <laughs> so far. But so far. We are now uh, looking at the beginning. We mentioned is the uh, Royal Oak Police Honor Guard gracing us with their presence, getting a well-deserved round of applause here from the gathered masses. And there are a very, it's a very nice turnout here today. Yeah, it's a perfect day for a parade. Mm -hmm. And you could almost say there's no bad days for a parade. That's, that's true. Although we have had a couple where there's like driving rain <laughs> and it's about four degrees. Right. Those are my less favorite Those are, parade days. Yes, yes, right. There's good days and better days. Better days, exactly. These are one this of the better, better days. Day. Royal Oak, the new police car. We got the Ford Tauruses in the fleet. Isn't that a nice looking oh, car? Oh, that's sleek. Yeah. Watch out, speeders, Royal Oak. <laughs> They blend right in. You can't That's right. See them until they're There's actually yeah. bars on the window. Keeping Royal Oak safe for all of us. And the honor guard. Gordon Young leading the honor guard. And there's uh, Chief O'Donoghue. Chief O'Donoghue is following up, making sure they're doing everything right. That's good. That's right seen him on TV a few times mm -hmm. in recent days. Unfortunately, not for the greatest of things, no. but that's part of what the police force has to deal with, that's right? That's true. And every other Monday night, you can see him sitting up there behind the commissioners. And there you go. Yeah, that's right. Next up, the Royal Canadian Legion. That's the Maple Leaf Post 84 here in Royal Oak. Gary Orban is uh, there in the van. And the Royal Oak American Legion following that, Frank Wendland, post number 253. And they have been longtime participants in this parade. I've been doing this parade for better than probably 20 years now, wow. the mid-90s. And uh, may I say it's never gone any smoother than when you're working <laughs> with me. <laughs> you may say that as often as you would like. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, I'm, a, I'm a newbie compared to you. No. I don't know. I think we might have to take that status away from you because you <laughs> have been a, a, you're a veteran newbie at this point. There you go. Then we've got the oh, Royal Oak uh, Post oh. 253, the Cub Scouts. There they are. Waving the flags. Troop 1707 coming up here. Oh, 
play your cards right, it looks like you're going to get to uh, say hello to one of these young men personally. Coming up, handing out flags. It would be an honor. It would be. Cub Scouts, my son, been involved in that for many years. A great organization. Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts of America. We've got the post-253 Legion riders led by John Williams. And motorcyclists. Still with post-253. 253. This is a big turnout for it, them. It really is, yeah. Harley Davidson, obviously the motorcycle of choice among <laughs> these great Americans based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I don't know, I'm don't kind of partial to that little red spear. Yeah, right I don't know if that's moment. a Harley or not. I, I don't I don't know. Not sure. That's the Harley for those of us who are fainter of heart. Maybe that's right. Yes, yes. I think Is so. Is he got a seatbelt on that thing? <laughs> I hope so. And then the Korean veterans. And we have mentioned them before. Dave Neary in the Korean uh, era Jeep. One of our grand marshals. That's right. I want to know where they keep these vehicles all year long. You're you know, not seeing I them driving up in that Woodward sure. usually. Somebody's, you know, polishing them up in their garage. Yeah, right. Putting that or matting them yeah, down, I, I guess, that so that they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we do thank those Korean era veterans, just like the, the Vietnam veterans. You know, we've talked about them over the years when we did the Royal Oak Show and. And each and every era of soldier is as important as the next, really. And some, unfortunately, don't receive the same amount of All right, and I, I think the focus today is on the Korean War veterans yeah, and the Vietnam absurd. War veterans. Mm -hmm. Because they very often are overlooked, at least the Korean War veterans. State Rep Chuck Moss uh, just passed us in the uh, Turquoise LeBaron. That was... Dale Piak, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we can't get rid of him here in Royal Oak. <laughs> the longtime color commentator with his partner, Larry Auger, on uh, Hockey Night in Royal Oak. My forebearer. Well, that sounds like the fire trucks. I think we got fire trucks. I think we do. We don't even need to look at our sheet for that. <laughs> Some of my favorite people from the city, along with our police department, our firefighters. You don't really realize how big a fire truck is until you're four or five feet away from it. You know, interestingly, we were up at the uh, celebration of the uh, fire department the other day. They had that, that yeah. cage, cage, not cage, I can't think of what it's, it's like called, but in the Bronto, picker. the cherry picker, yeah, thank yeah, you. Right. And I had, I barely could see the top of it. It made my knees shake just looking at it. Right, yep. Well, next up, we've got the junior and senior poppy queens, post-1669. Oh, my goodness. Now, Hello, which do you ladies. think is the junior and which is the senior? I'm not sure. They look like twins they to me. They do look like twins, don't they? they How a, exciting. They had a wrestling match for it. And we're going to take a short break now. We've got a brief uh, break in the action here, but uh, we'll be back with more parades, so stay tuned. We're coming right back. Hey there. Yes, you. I'm going to give you a snap quiz. Uh, oh, don't worry. It's not going to count toward your grades. Okay, let's see if you're required to register with the Selective Service, okay? First, are you under 18 years old or over 25? Are you on active military duty or enrolled in West Point or one of the other service academies? Are you a student in an ROTC program at the Citadel, Virginia Military Institute, North Georgia College, Norwich University, Virginia Polytechnic, or Texas A&M? Well, that's it. You passed with a perfect score of zero. Any of these situations would have been an exception to the law requiring young men to register with a selective service. Virtually, all men living in the United States must register when they turn 18. Go to www.sss.gov and register. Let me get 
<clears throat> Who do we have here? The oh, music messages. Oh, yeah. We are back. Welcome. You are looking at the 2013 Memorial Day Parade here in Royal Oak, Michigan. This is the Drum Messengers, led by Rob Schneider. I don't know if it's that Rob Schneider, but... <laughs> Maybe a different one. Maybe there's more but than was, one. Yeah, it would have been nice of him to come to Royal Oak. Matthews Hargraves represented today. That's right. They're over at 12 Mile, just west of 75, and a long time Royal Oak merchant selling Chevys. It was an old Arizona public, Department safety, public safety vehicle. Wow. You don't think they got lost on Woodward, do you? I don't know, but mm -hmm. if they, it wouldn't surprise me if in the coming weeks with all the construction say. we're about to That's have right. out there. Be long summer if you take Woodward. I long think. summer and yeah. 11 mile. Oh yes. Oh well. Keeps you in downtown Royal Oak. That's where you want to be anyway. For sure. <laughs> and next up, somebody you may know. <laughs> yeah. Are these all your children, Jody? You know what? I'm not sure who's uh, who's walking busy. with. You, uh, his honor today. It actually looks like a couple of our grandkids are out there. Yeah, I'm going to leave this one yeah. to you because you've got oh all the names. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Who is it? Who <sighs> is it? Let's see if I get this right. Well, we have Mayor Jim Ellison, a couple yes. of his grandchildren out here. We have city commissioners Mike Fournier and his kids. Oh, and his wife, Nikki. We have City Commissioner David Poulton and his wife, Jen, and their kids. We also have City Commissioner Kyle Dubuck and... I didn't get a chance to see whether Kyle had Tara and the kids with him. But good, good turnout from the city commission today. Nice. Very, very good. And after the mayor, we've got the Vietnam Veterans of America, the Detroit chapter. That's chapter 9. And again, we'd like to thank them for their service to this great country here on Memorial Day. They're all very well represented as well. <laughs> happy to be here, obviously. Um, Absolutely. That's good. We're happy to have them. They deserve their props. Oh, absolutely. And this is the Michigan Vietnamese American community honoring the uh, American heroes who fought for freedom in Vietnam. And. Again, thank you. Beautiful outfits, too. I'm guessing more traditional. All this traditional garb. Gorgeous. That's right. Next up, we've got the Kerr brothers and their uh, Vietnam veterans. This is out of Sault Ste. Marie, the Chippewa Indian tribe. You always thought the Chippewa Indians were, it should have been around central Michigan and Mount yeah, Pleasant think because so. they Mount, were the Chippewas. Yeah, exactly. But they're exactly. not, they're in Sault Ste. Sault Ste. Marie. I don't know if you noticed, but carrying the Kerr family ba banner there, one of our great local actors who's going to amount to a great deal in the future, Vanessa Sawson, just okay. finishing up at Wayne. Very nice. In the grad program. Okay. <laughs> we will look for her. Yeah, listen for that name. We'll You'll remember be hearing it a them long when. Time. Here's the Kerr brothers coming up. Here now. they are. And they've been participants in here in our Royal Oak Parade for many, many years. In fact, past grand marshals. And if I remember correctly, each brother served in a different branch of the military. I think that is true. Yep, that's right. I would not have wanted to be their mother. Could you imagine? No, I can't. I can't. Thank you for that. And we do mention the family, families of our troops, past and present, who really bear sometimes as much of the brunt of the sacrifices made as, as the, the troops themselves. So exactly. Uh, hats off to them. I've got a good friend who's 
actually heading back to Afghanistan this summer, a buddy of mine from college, and he's been over there four times at the ripe old age of 51. Oh, goodness gracious. So. Well, let's hope this is his last and that he comes home successfully and that we can move forward he loves as a it. country. He's all about it. I mean, he's a Marine he? to the bone, and this guy, you know, we, we need more people like him. So. Well, that's true. That's anyway, true. so Chapter 19 of the Disabled American Veterans of uh, South Oakland, John Williams is uh, their leader. Wow, I've seen flags mounted on cars before, but that's a pretty that's a good one. That's a doozy right there. <laughs> See that going down the road. That is a big wow. one. Yeah, that's bigger than your average Red Wing flag. I think so. Suburban Buick GMC represented here today as well. That's right. Rick Perry, their leader. And in the distance, I hear music, Jody. <gasps> I do as well. Who is it? Who is it? I think this is the Royal Oak High School Marching Band under the leadership of David Jensen. Outstanding. Why don't we have a listen to their beautiful music? Did you ever play in the band, Andy Aubrey? Uh, no, no I did not. I took guitar lessons uh, in many different eras of my life, but these synapses in my brain just did not connect <laughs> on a proper level for me to successfully oh. complete anything. Love I hear music, you. Though, love music. I and they're probably you. enjoying this day a little better than a late November football game. Where it's yeah, I think you're probably chilly. right. Yes. Honor Flight Legacy Project from Honor Flight Michigan just passed by. So many volunteers taking the World War II veterans to uh, our nation's capital. And what a great project that is. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you to Rick Sage, who's heading that up at this point. And we also have the Ancient Order of Hibernians. That was uh, Steve Zanetti with the lead there. And following that is the uh, Central Free Will Baptist Church under the direction of Thomas McCullough. There's Curtis England. And Stephen Walker. World War II vet. He was a sergeant in the U.S. Army. And Walk, uh, Stephen Walker from Vietnam. SBC-4. Beautiful Barracuda there. <laughs> Dennis Witt, also a Vietnam era vet, as well as World War II veteran Clifford Fairchild. It's nice to see we're so well represented today. That's right. Royal Oak Memorial Society. And there is Carol Hennessy driving that convertible. Carol's one of my Facebook friends, you know. <laughs> she is. Me yep. too. She's great. I think Carol gets around. She really does. <laughs> you know what? Every time you look up, you're bumping into her again. Yeah. And she's working on something for sure. Next, we got the Royal Oak Roar Association of Retailers. Buy local here in Royal Buy Oak. Buy local. That sounds like a good idea. I think so. Royal Oak, self-sustaining, that's what we like to say. We have KFC Council 2569 and 12408. There are a lot of KFC Councils. They had to go up to a five digits. <laughs> Does that mean there's <laughs> over 10,000? There must be. There must be. Well, now you got to behave yourself. Yes, I okay. will. I will. Oh, geez, here we go. The police are here. <laughs> and I don't care if your husband, the mayor, is standing next to us or not. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times I've heard that. Behave yourself, the police Behave are here. Behave yourself, yeah, the police that's are here. It, that's and it. you say, I know, they're always here. <laughs> they're always here. You, know, you can only use your influence so much. That's it, that's it, too. That's right. 
at some point you just have to start behaving yourself. So there. Yeah. Well, it's probably a little easier on your constitution. <laughs> Cut out some of the, the bad behavior that you're so used to. Oh, having. I know, I know. But we have Sheriff Michael Bouchard. There he is. He's shaking hands. He's kissing babies. He's, <laughs> he's doing all those things. As long as he's not shaking babies and kissing hands. That's, that's correct. That's... Right, right. Always good to see Sheriff Bouchard. Waving. He's been sheriff for quite a long he's time. He's been doing here forever, job and he's, done, he's always good about coming to our parade. He really is. And then is. we'll see him later this morning over at the Beverly Hills Parade, which is an area that he got his start in public life over there. Sheriff Bouchard, of course, saluting our troops. And this uh, Hummer is donated by the Department of Defense. It's very quiet. You don't want to peek out your front window and see no. that thing on <laughs> no, your front lawn. No, you do not. Luckily, the assault vehicle is in here because you really don't want <laughs> to see right. that on your front yard. Yeah, or this boat pulling up to your uh, up to your dock. Up to the dock, yes, and four or five men with ski masks jumping oh, off of heavens. it. Oh heavens! <laughs> then after the sheriff's boat, we've got the Royal Oak Restaurant Association. We've got a few restaurants here in Royal we Oak. We do. We have some wonderful restaurants here in Royal Oak. And we try to eat at every single one of them. That's right. <laughs> Royal, Oak's, Royal Oak Women's Club, represented behind them. State Senator John Papa George. He's here for us today, waving. And actually was over at the pancake breakfast this morning. Is we that ran right? into him before the parade. Okay. Yes, he did. Coming up now, U.S. Congress Congressman Sandra Levin. I think Sandy and Carl are the only two brothers serving in uh, Congress and Senate. Yeah, I, I don't know. It worked. I don't see Carl this morning. I see Sandra. I don't and either. Yeah, he's uh, he's supposed to be over in Beverly Hills later, too. He's got actually a grandson who plays JV basketball oh. at Groves, I believe. Very cool. So interviewed him many years ago at Memorial Park. Mm -hmm. And there's a man who's made for public life right there. He's oh, absolutely. He had his sport coat. He threw it over his shoulder. He was ready for the people. And absolutely. Well, I tell you what, you see them here all the time. Every I, year. I don't care if they're representing us in Washington or not. They're back home all the time on the ground. Yes. in the mud. Absolutely. So they do a great job. Indeed. After that, State Rep Jim Townsend is right there, out here waving. Yeah. He's got his flag, looking all patriotic, looking, <laughs> looking real <laughs> casual and, and TV ready. Hello, Jim. Hey, Jim. I tell you, one of the things you can say about our politicians is they are here and they are accessible. Absolutely. I like it. I see them in everything. And believe me, we are in everything. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah, if anyone would know that they're out, it would be you guys. But why wouldn't you be, right? I mean, exactly. you're, you're elected to office to be a part of the, the exactly. people. Exactly. Exactly. To be out there and to hear what everybody has to get say. Get yourself out there then. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Especially on a day like today. There's no excuse for laying in bed. It's gorgeous <laughs> out here. Well, there's always an excuse for laying in bed. <laughs> okay, I take that. Yeah. <laughs> to face. Okay. Well, next up, we've got the Royal Oak Historical Society. And Deb Anderson. And she's right out front in that beautiful pink skirt. I think that's the guy from... Um, Monopoly, isn't it? <laughs> he has a name, right? No. Yeah, that guy yeah, from that Monopoly. Guy from Monopoly. <laughs> it was nice of him to take time out of his busy schedule to you be bet. here. The Royal Oak Rotary. That really is him. You know, I'm not kidding. That's him. <laughs> oh, he took his hat off and just ruined oh, everything. No. no, that's that's cool. Good stuff. Yeah, he took it off and a shoe fell out, right? <laughs> A bunch of cash. <laughs> a bunch of cash. Yeah, a bunch of, yeah. bunch of Monopoly money. Exactly. Uh, there's the Rotary, the Royal Oak Rotary car. And my guess is that they're followed by the optimists here. These look like a bunch of optimistic people they walking sure up do. the Everybody's street. They sure do. Everybody's smiling and waving. And I tell ya. They get up. They do their meetings before work. Once a week, mm. seven o'clock, something mm -hmm. like that. Breakfast meetings—they have to be all friendly and happy. Right. Yeah. 
bet they won't be asking me. <laughs> sort of <laughs> sickening, right? Yeah. I, you notice Seven I'm never morning. at any of those. Yeah. After that, we've got uh, their bus. This is uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Oakland and Macomb County's bus, but they are uh, here. That's here in support of the Optimist Club. And they do great work. They, they really oh, they do. do. The They're tremendous amazing. community out. Um, we ha we have some program. wonderful service organizations in this town for sure. Then the ever popular Daughters of the American Revolution, the Ezra Parker chapter. The Mothers of American Revolution, too. Well, there you go. I wonder if there's any sisters. I imagine there are some sisters. There's gotta be. I don't know if they'll own up to it because their brothers may be rotten, you know how that is. <laughs> We're getting a lot of help from our director, Richard Wilson, in the truck today. I we want to mention that. Do. And all of our camera guys here doing a I great you, job, too, by the fabulous. way. Fabulous. This is amazing. an amazing crew. Don't forget sound. Audio. That's it. Let's mention. That's it. That's With right. our new in headsets. In the profession, we call it audio. Jim mm -hmm. Nelson. He, he, did a, he made a good buy. We've got new headsets good buy. here. Yeah. I feel like so a nice. real, uh, real professional TV outfit we got I going know. out here. I know. Well, next up... As we look at some of the people taking photos, and I hope they all signed release forms, <laughs> is the the Wahoo Baseball Club of Royal Oak under the direction of Terrence Utley. Now, these guys are all in old-time uniforms and actually play a game later, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They will be they down do. at Memorial Park playing. Against who? Like the Yeehaws? The yes, Wahoos, the Yahoos and the Weehaws. And the Yeehaws and the are out here. <laughs> Pretty spiffy, up to date looking cameras Whoa. for those walkers. Whoa. Whoa. Brian almost lost a camera. He got that. Uh, and he recovered hooked. beautifully. He's a professional. He is a professional. <laughs> now, they're not actually batting balls into the crowd, are they? No, I don't think so. It looks like they're th maybe they're batting Tootsie Rolls or uh, something. That would be good. That'd be kind of funny, actually. Yeah. That might be. And put an eye out, though. If and well, that's true. That's true. If we have some good hitters. How do you hit with that guy, that kid on your shoulder? Though? I would think <laughs> yeah, it would throw off one. your balance a little that bit. That is a tough one. Not to mention throw off your kid a little bit, throw I would off think. The kid. Yeah. It could be some serious damage. <laughs> and nothing says Memorial Day Parade quite like bagpipers, <laughs> wouldn't you agree? I think and nothing <laughs> says any holiday quite like bagpipers. <laughs> right. But you might guess I have a little bit of the uh, <clears throat> you know, Irish and Scottish in me. You so. bet. Well, this is the American Order. Michigan Hibernian Rifles, Company D. Ah, the Irish. The Irish. Let me roll my tongue like that. That's good. That's good. That works for so many languages. And, and of course, the AOHs are the ones in charge of the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Mm -hmm. so, Jim and I were pretty honored this year. We got to be the Grand Marshals, the honorary. Ah, yes. The honorary marshals. Very nice. Yeah. Not the ones who had to do anything for real. Yeah, you just they, showed you know, up, right? We just showed, showed up. and looked good. <laughs> showed up and waved. The two of you. Well, coming up after the Hibernians is the Royal Oak Middle School Bulldogs. And... They have a band as well, under the direction of Keith Coring. Let's see what they sound like, Jody.
have the Royal Oak Model UN. Alex Schneider is the rep for the UN. They do amazing things. They basically do UN type of things. They do but UN it's stuff. Model. It's a model <laughs> of the UN. If only the UN would operate so efficiently. So efficiently, so smoothly. Look at all those little kids in their peace sign American flag sunglasses. How cool. With a uh, real live American troop on the back. We don't have a name, unfortunately, but. Then Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts, Cub Scouts, and more Cub Scouts. Always well represented by the Cub Scouts and the Girl Scouts and the Daisies. Right on. And the Oak Ridge Preschool. Ooh, coming up behind them, there are some of our brownies. Not the edible kind, no. the walking ones. They're from Northwood Elementary, 75330. And Lydia Roshan is the director there of that fine brownie troop. They're exuberant. The exuberant, like excellent word. Thank they you. really are. Nice save on the paperwork over there. A little breeze kicked up. <laughs> Just making it a more perfect Memorial Day. Mm, absolutely. Bring up some more Cub Scouts, Pack 1627. From Keller. And they are from Keller, right? They are. And we have our canine Cub Scouts, I guess. Right. Canine Scouts. That's not McGruff, is it? I don't think so. We don't so. have McGruff McGruff, this year. McGruff has gotten littler and littler. Yes, he's That's shrinking. Him. He is shrinking. <laughs> well, we're all getting older. <laughs> they say you lose height, but that's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> and after that is uh, the St. Mary's Elementary Pack 1600 Cub Scout group. Yeah, Ken Becker is their leader. There, followed closely by Cub Scout Pack 1634 from Shrine. Right, and the Shrine, the Cub Scout Pack leader, Philip Sobeck. And these uh, different participants, pretty much in order. This is about the time things tend to devolve into chaos for us exactly. with our sheet. And, uh, exactly. <laughs> We're actually seeing some semblance of order here, which is encouraging. I like that. I like that. Pack 1631 following them. Michelle Buckheim is their leader. Right, and they're from the United Methodist Church. Now, does that just have that does that 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 flag wagon has dual exhausts? That's back right, there. very cool. Yeah, it actually flies. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Following the Cub Scouts, we got the American House uh, bus van taking care of our seniors. Chris Lamack is the executive director over there. Here, marching down the street, Bill Dida. There's Bill back there somewhere. Where are you at, Bill? <laughs> Bill, raise your hand. If you're Bill, stand up, unless you're driving that convertible. <laughs> In which By case, by all you means, don't. stay seated. 
Ah, oh, now here, we were just talking about McGruff. Speaking of McGruff, here he comes. Now the police, they're, they're all well and good, but this right here, McGruff, that's one who's really keeping things Absolutely. safe. Absolutely, I will point out that with McGruff, one of his handlers is uh, City Commissioner Peggy Goodwin. Royal Oak Crime Prevention Council. Carrying the flag, Roger Coddington. He's representing the Eagles Area 2092. Roger always um, takes time out of his Memorial Day to sing at the service afterwards as well. Our own gym neighbors. Ah, uh, yes. And we all need one. We all need a gym neighbor. I think so. I think so. Fraternal Order of Police passing. There's the mayor. There's your buddy and your family. Yeah. All of your children. <laughs> Those aren't all my children. Oh, they're not all your children. Okay. I just clarified that. But Fair thank enough. you for that. Okay. <laughs> the Miss American Co ed pageant. And I believe Miss we, we have Claire Miss Shores. Yes. Look at that. Eva, co ed sweetheart. How about that? Wow. There's a lot of lovely on that truck. Oh, that's Tierra's R Us. <laughs> Tierra's R Us, that's right. Then after that, we've got Dave and Vicki Banks, the Calliope. Always machine. happy to have the Calliope right, They here. come all the yeah. way from Brown City to be with us. Now, where is Brown City? Brown City's up near Richmond, uh, way on the far east, northeast corner of nowhere. I think it's <laughs> not far from Port Huron, maybe. Then a big American flag that is being carried by the Royal Oak Raven football team. Go Ravens. Ryan Irish and company. Oh boy, we're being invaded by football players yes, now. Yes, future Royal Oak Ravens. <laughs> the Chiefs and the Chargers. Standing side by side. That's right, no one's broken out into any brawls yet. You know how those football players oh. get? A lot of testosterone. Well, and if I look out there, I see a couple more of my grandkids. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's like the King family or something. I tell there. you what. And bikes. Lots wow. and lots of bikes. They must be all the supporters of the youth football players. We're not going to name all the kids on bikes right now. I don't think so, because we be, might miss somebody, and then that would be <laughs> that would be hurt feelings. That would be exactly, exactly. Right. We do not want anybody to be sad. This is a happy occasion and a solemn occasion, but everybody's got a smile on their face here this morning, Royal Oak. But you know, the freedom wouldn't be worth as much if we didn't celebrate it. This is true. Very true. Next up, the Royal Oak Sewer Division. <laughs> The DPS track. Yes. And what better vehicle to bring up the rear of this parade? <laughs> but, Very good. <laughs> but you know. Hey, the mayor jumped back in. Now, he's behind the sewer division truck. Does he really know what he's doing back there? Well, let's just say that he spends a lot of time cleaning up things. Uh, the there city. you go. Ah. Very, very well Thanks. said. Thanks. It was handed to me. All right. Now, I think you come up with a lot of this stuff on your own. Just off oh, the top of your head. It's very impressive. Oh, thank you. Well, Jody, I'll tell you what. Another successful parade here in Royal Oak. Gorgeous day. Memorial Day. 2013 we thank again we thank all of our veterans and our uh, current troops for serving this country and any final thoughts from you no i um, I'm, I'm going to invite everybody to come to the memorial service right outside the library on the library lawn at the uh at the uh tribute mm -hmm. um that'll happen as soon as the parade finishes right um it's been wonderful working with you again and you're off to beverly hills then for your 15th parade of the day that's right <laughs> Right, 16th. Okay, sure. Right, no, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm off to Beverly Hills. Uh, but it's been a pleasure and an honor to bring all of you here in Royal Oak today's parade. And Jody, always a pleasure working with you. Best to you and that huge family of yours. <laughs> and uh, we thank you again for being a part of uh, watching our great parade here to honor the troops, past, present, and their families. We appreciate everything, and we'll see you next year. Thanks for joining us.